I suck at interior design. Like I can barely decorate a simple layout. Like, look at this, this is just a blank wall with white in the background and these chairs don't even get me started. These chairs suck. My idea of interior design is a bookshelf with camera gear. So with that in mind, do not, and I repeat, do not follow me for interior designing. I have been binging some interior design channels and this one I highly recommend. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is the ProTuber series where I dive into other creators that are growing or blowing up on YouTube. Remember, I don't have all the analytics and this is just my opinion to share some information on how you can grow your channel. So let's dive into who we're talking about today. In this video, I wanna talk about Nick Lewis. Nick is an amazing person. He's got a great personality and he just loves sharing about interior design. I will say this, I have gotten to know him over the last few months. He's honestly the kindest person and gives out so much information within each video. His videos and personality connects really well. But before we dive into all of that and look at his channel, let's take a look at his numbers. Currently he's at 200K subscribers. Yay, he just hit that 200K. Congrats, Nick. And I just wanna note here about two months ago, two months-ish ago, he was at 100K, so that is huge growth. The average growth per week is 3.7K subscribers. And the views as of today stand at 10.2 million. Whoa. Okay, so that's really good. And he's been on YouTube for less than a year. But let's take a look at his channel to really understand why that growth has happened. So when you look back at his channel, his earliest, very first video, you can tell that it took off right away. But there are a few breakthrough videos that did really well, and I think he noticed that, and then he started doing more of that content. The videos that did really well were the ones that are talking about, you know, trends you should not do. Now these seem to do really well on his channel, and I think that ties into his personality and just the fact that he's sharing things that he does not like. He shares them and tells you what he thinks. So Nick has been gracious and kind enough to share his analytics with us all. So as you can see from this screenshot, I'm over it. This is the video that really pushed his channel out there. When you go to his channel, you can see that this is his breakthrough or gateway video that is bringing in the traffic and keeping the momentum going on his channel. Super important to notice that if you see videos doing well on your channel, you need to double down on that content. This is something that he's noticed and continued to do videos around this topic. So as you can see from the screenshot alone, he's got over 1.4 million views, 142,000 watch time hours, and 45,000 subscribers alone. Key factor here is to note that it is actually being pushed out on the suggested. So basically he's being suggested at the end of each video. And so more people are watching his videos and subscribing. Now when you look at his overall channel, the last 365 days, you can see that he did post a few videos and there wasn't to that point where he posted that one video that it really started taking off. So if he decided to ignore the fact that that video did well and just continue to do random videos, his traffic and his momentum would have died down. Because he doubled down on the content, he kept the momentum going. This also ties into subscribers. As you can see, he got a huge bump in subscribers around that same video. And overall, that's how you continue to grow on your channel. Now, just for the sake of it, I asked for the traffic source as well. Here's the breakdown of the traffic source over the last 365 days. Because the other video is being suggested so much, it's also pushed the suggested to the second place. Super interesting to look at this data because it helps you understand the behind the scenes of a bigger channel a little bit more. Now every time I go onto a YouTube channel, I can straight away say to myself, I know what made them you know, take off a little bit more. And that comes down to the videos that they share. So for example, next channel, there are a few videos that he really focused in on, the trends you should not do. And here's why these videos took off and helped push his channel out. First reason was because the subscribers that subscribed from those videos were watching that content. And so they were pushing out those videos more. And then there were new viewers coming in because those videos were getting pushed out more on the browse page, on search, whatever it may be. So his immediate audience was watching and he was getting new subscribers because the videos kept getting pushed out. Many times when we start a YouTube channel, we ignore the ones that do well. Or maybe you have a video that did well and you don't really want to talk about. That's fine, but you need to start putting out more videos to see what video will do well. You need a breakthrough video or a gateway video on your channel to really take your channel to the next level. Now let's look at the overall channel. I feel like his interior design really came in handy here because he has created a very eye-catching and fun channel to be a part of. It's not cluttered and the colors all make sense together. Now, when you look at his channel, the thumbnails grab your attention. Like I instantly would go to his over another one's because the interior design world, it's got sometimes it's a little, I don't know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I feel like it's just like so pristine and all together. But with his thumbnails, I feel like they're pristine and put together, but at the same time, they appeal to someone that doesn't have a clue of what's going on. 
within the interior design world. I don't know, the connection between that really makes me want to watch the videos. His pictures are clear and concise. So you can clearly see what's going on in his thumbnails. Sometimes he doesn't even have his face in the thumbnails. Now this is important to note. Some of his videos don't even have him in the, the picture, which is totally fine. That's actually good in this case. So for example, his by this or that, he had, doesn't put his face in it at all. And he just has the pictures of by this or by that. And I love that because it shows what the video is going to be about. It's actually by this, not that. I'm so silly. Okay, so his thumbnails look great. His channel looks great. Let's dive into his videos a little bit more. First thing that I notice is that he gets straight to the point. Oh, heck, I hate going to a video and note, like they're just faffing around. If you faff around and you give out fluff at the beginning, I'm gonna click off. For example, his newest video, the patio video, around 10 seconds, he's right into the video. There's no filler, there's no fluff. It's straight to the point. Now I will say Nick has a personality and I love his personality. I, I feel like, he could be a friend to anybody for life. Like he's just got that personality. It sounds like I'm fangirling a little bit and I probably am, but to be totally honest, I love seeing other people succeed. His channel is a successful channel because he's focused in on the topics and the things that he needs to do to keep going with it, like pushing it out and doing more and more of. So with his personality, he has really done a good job of connecting it with his editing, his filming style, and what he wants to share. Now the key here is that he has passion and drive behind his videos. Like whenever he talks about a topic, he gives you some information, but he also has some passion in it. Like I can see it when he talks, like he's passionate about what he's talking about. So that's a key important factor that you need to remember is that you need to be passionate about the content that you're sharing. Now one last thing we're gonna talk about is his editing. I love his editing, it fits really well into his videos and it fits with him. Simple and it's clean and it matches the content. Okay, so let's summarize because there's a lot of information but I wanna give you some kind of like summary tips that you can go and use on your channel. Okay, so the first thing is the channel is laid out nicely. He does have the playlist set up and he does have great thumbnails. The branding colors are all connected and I feel like it's just inviting to the channel. So what you need to do is go back to your channel and see if it's inviting and see what you can do to improve that initial, you know, homepage, the branding, the colors, all of that. The second thing is the thumbnails are in point. Thumbnails connect with his industry. They connect with him as a person. The colors are bright and it's also very simple and clear. Now that's super important for your channel too. If you go and look within your niche and see the competitors, the big names out there, what ties them all together? Why do you click their, their thumbnail? Number three is the personality. Gosh, I could talk about his personality all day, so I'm not gonna go into lots of detail here, but I will say your personality does come into play. So you're talking about a topic that you're not passionate about, or you're not letting yourself be yourself, and you're trying to be like someone else, that is going to show in your videos, and it's going to hurt your videos. And number four is your editing. Try and create an editing style that fits with you. Don't try and be like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon or whoever else is out there. Be yourself. So don't go out there and like start editing like Nick because that really does connect with Nick. But maybe, you know, you could change it up a little. You could start editing in a different style to see what connects. <sighs> that was a lot of information in one video sitting. The whole point of these videos is to give you tips and advice, but to see it from a different perspective so that you can go out and start creating on your channel. Nick's channel has so much to offer. If you're interested in interior design, you need to go check out his channel for that, but also analyze, like understand the channel, see what he's doing and just get an understanding of how he's doing and how he's growing. So remember, do not go out and copy. It's very important that you do not go out and copy Nick's channel or any other channel for that matter. Try and be yourself. The whole point of these, my video ProTuber videos is to show you how you can do it and go out and try and do something similar, but in your own world. Like do it for yourself. And as always guys, don't forget to trade and venture and learn to inspire. Have a good one.